hey guys welcome to the happy cancer tarot channel i hope you guys are doing good today all right so let's go ahead and let's get started on your reading this is going to be for my cancer sun moon rising and venus signs all right let's see what spirit has for you guys cancer sun moon rising venus signs let me do another shuffle yeah all right we got the nine of pentacles that's what i was feeling i wasn't feeling the nine of pentacles but i was feeling like there's someone cancers yeah i feel like there is someone that may be coming your way whoever this person is i do want to caution you of this person because it's like they have their eye on you, but they don't have their eye on you in a good way. It's like they want something from, from you or they may try to take something from you. I just, and I feel like this is someone that's gonna come towards you and I feel like you may, I don't know, maybe you know this person uh, may be up to no good. I don't know, let's see how this story unfolds for you guys. Because it's like she has her hand on the pentacle. So it's like she knows she needs to protect something of hers. Look at how her hand is laying right there. And then when I showed you that five of swords, that person was looking at you. It's like they're coming to do something to either sabotage you, to one up you, to manipulate you. It's like there's some sort of ulterior motive. We got the sun card coming in in reverse. Hmm. I, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing here a child here. Some of you could have had an unhappy childhood. This may, the, the person that could have been looking at you could have been someone that you've known since you were a child. Or someone you grew up around. I don't know who the person is. But I feel like they're associated with your childhood and some sort of unhappiness. Or rather it was some sort of childhood or not. I just feel like there's some sort of unhappy experience that you had with this person. We got here another major arcana coming up. I keep seeing the tower card. What's going to happen? There's something that's going to happen. Let me clarify this hangman. This is making me feel like you're going to get stuck. Drama. Yeah, look at here, guys. Yeah. I feel like so I feel like you guys could have gotten stuck in some sort of drama. I'm picking up like the black sheep of the family. You know, maybe you are like, you know, the odd person out in their mind. Maybe they see you as someone unique. I don't know. But I feel like there's some sort of drama, whether it's someone's family or friends. I just feel like you're not a part of a particular group. That's what I feel like. And it's making me feel, though, around, for some of you, it feels family. Because I feel like childhood. And so it seems like you're the... Hold on one second, guys. Let me... Uh, I'm not going to answer that. So you guys don't have to hold on. It says no call ID. How do, how do somebody call you and it says no call ID? All right. But anyway, um... Yeah, and this is making me feel like you're the person that's like the odd person out. And I feel like there's some sort of family drama. It's making me feel family or drama. Because for some of you, it may not be family. It just may be some sort of drama around you. But let me get some more insight around this. Because I feel like it's linked to some sort of unhappy experience and then we got the will of fortune in reverse so here's what i'm seeing here miss 
fortune. I don't feel like, I feel like some of you, I don't, I don't feel like it's already there. You may be working on something or maybe you're about to come into some money because with this nine of pentacles, I feel like you, you're the nine of pentacles, like you have money. But the thing about this, you may not have it all right now. This is making me feel like some sort of drama to push you out of some sort of fortune. That's what this is making me feel like. Like these people may be conspiring so that you don't reap what's yours. Let me get this out of here. Let me get this out. There's something going on. I don't know who these people are. Spirit, make this a little bit more um, clear for us. Because I'm feeling family, but there's some sort of... Mm, okay, let's see. We got here, adjudication and despair. See, I feel like there's something going on here. Like, this is what I'm saying. Causing you some sort of despair. Let me tell you guys what I'm getting here. I feel like people have been ostracizing you. What? Is, okay, I'm sorry, guys. Let me turn this off. I thought I did, but I feel like some people have been ostracizing you because I feel like there is some sort of legal situation, a legal battle, but I feel like they don't want you to know about this legal battle because it has something to do with the fortune. It has something to do with the money. And I feel like they don't want you to get said money and that's why I said right here with the nine of pentacles you see how it says not hiring that's what I'm saying you haven't reached the nine of pentacles you've been working to get to the nine of pentacles but this is coming up because you are already the nine of pentacles you are already someone that's successful and you're going to have wealth if you don't have it now you will have it because I feel like there's something that's owed to you a fortune see that's why it's in reverse Will of Fortune, there's something that's owed to you that I feel like these people over here, they don't want you to know about it. See, it's like they're trying to keep you over here and try to, trying to cause drama to keep you outside of the circle so you don't find out about this fortune, whatever that may be. And I feel like you've been struggling and in despair. And there's some sort of court situation or some sort of legal matter or some sort of legal document. And that I feel like a child here. I felt family. Didn't I say your childhood? This may have something to do. Here it is a message. Here it is a message. I feel like that's why I felt like child. And here is bad health. See, something was going on here. You know when I'm getting here, I feel like some of you may have... This is an older man with health issues. I feel like this could be someone that ha is going to send you a message. But I don't feel like this bad health person. I don't. I feel like they were sick when you were a child. And they may have. I feel like this person may have passed away. But I feel like they passed away and left you something. Left you a fortune. But these people don't want you to know about it. And see, here it is. They wrote. See, when this was when you were a child, though. And they wrote something, maybe had something official when they were sick. They did something to make sure that um, you would be taken care of as an adult. That's what I'm saying. It's like you already have some sort of fortune, some sort of wealth that I feel like these people are trying to keep away. They're trying to keep you locked up. Someone that could be trying to get you locked up so you don't get access to this. Yeah, see, occupation. That's what I'm saying. You're over here working. You're working really hard trying to make a living. See here, in despair. Because maybe you're, you're working, but you're not seeing the income. But there's, see, here's the mature man. There's an older man that I feel like left someone some uh, money when they passed away. This, could, But I feel like this is like someone from when you were a child. Anything else? 
Again, it's coming out again. See? I, I combined two of my Kipper decks in case you're wondering. But yeah, it's coming out again. Let's see. Yep, whoever this person is, they thought about you when they were not uh, when they were sick. This could be a grandfather. This could be your father. I'm even. I wouldn't even be. I was. Oh my gosh! I was just about to say that. I was going to say I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a secret, because this family room indicates some sort of secret. This makes me feel like. Look, thinking about you. This. I feel like you could have been like a secret child for some of you. This isn't everyone's story, but someone is watching whose parent wasn't really their parent. So, for example, like you could have been raised believing, you know, um, um, uh, someone was your father who really wasn't your father. Some other person was your father. I feel like a family secret. And this person thought about you when they were not feeling good. Yep, see here and ha look at here, the paperwork. There's the paperwork. They thought about you. But I feel like the family, that's why I told you guys, I kept feeling family. I feel like family was causing drama to push you out. Yeah, and look, some of you could have moved. Moved to get away from family. Anything else? We got a false person. We got a false person. There's two people back here. And that's what I'm saying. See here? This is what I'm saying. Two false people. So you could have been with these. This is like, let's say, I'm just going to use a mom as an example. Let's say you were with your mother and your mother had this male. Well, you could have been raised as a child thinking that this male was your father. When really this was your father. That's what it's like. Some of you are experiencing something like that, if that makes sense. Hold on, let me check, take this call. All right, so yeah, sorry guys, I had to take that phone call. But um, anyway, um, yeah, like I was saying, I feel like this has to do with like, um, um, like maybe someone like parent being a false person, and you know saying that someone was their child when they wasn't. But I feel like there was some sort of like um, inheritance. Yeah, see here, marriage in reverse. That's what I'm saying. They married someone else that wasn't really this child's. That you being the child, now being an adult though. Um, you being the child, now being an adult, married someone that wasn't your parent. But maybe pretended like they were your parent. Yep, and look at here, despair. Again, despair. You could have had despair growing up as a child. Yeah, because look at here, unexpected income, unexpected income. Yeah, you got some sort of unexpected income from this situation. Let's see what else. Let me pull, let me shuffle these. Yep, look at here, expectation. Some of you may know about this already. You're expecting this or you're expecting something to happen in your life. Mm, maybe you waiting for love though. Courtship. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is going on here. We got distant horizon. What's going to happen in the distant horizon? Something is going to happen. See, you're standing here working. And remember we saw someone coming towards you? Someone wanted to come towards you to sabotage. And I, I feel like to trick you. Someone wants to come towards you to trick you. Because of something that's probably old to you in the distant horizon. We got here pathway. What about this pathway? We got, again, message from a mature man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're trying to block your pathway. In the distance, you have a message coming from a mature man, an older person, or about an older person, someone mature. You have a message coming for about or from this person. And I feel like in the distant horizon, that's what's going to happen. But someone has been trying to block your pathway, trying to stop you from accessing um, this fortune that's owed to you. 
We got hit. I told you, see, celebrating. Celebrate I, in your childhood. Didn't I tell you guys that? See, these people celebrating. Because I told you, I feel like there was something that happened in your childhood. And these people have been trying to prevent you from getting what is owed to you. This could be an inheritance. Yeah, and I feel like some of you may have had like so, uh, some sort of childhood that maybe left you sad. Because I feel like when you look back on the memories of your childhood, I feel like you were maybe made to believe that you had to be stronger because of the things that you went through as a child. Like I'm just getting here this energy of maybe having to grow up sooner than you should have and having to be stronger than you should have as a child when you should have been able to just play and have fun. But I feel like there was something about your childhood that uh, hmm, that you, yeah, you had to be stronger than, again, you were ready for. And I'm seeing here the King of Cups come in. There's something pertaining to the, yeah, cancers. Yep, and over it. There is someone that's in love with you that's coming through. How are they linked in this picture? Let me see. There is someone here that's in love with you, that's watching you. This makes me feel like, I feel like, yep, struggle. That's what I was about to say. This makes me feel like you've been through a lot of adversity, a lot of hardship, a lot of struggling, being out in the cold, rejection, abandonment. That's what I feel. I feel like you've been abandoned. And you, whoever this reading is for, I feel like always struggling. And I'm seeing someone at a distance who's in love with you. But I don't feel like this person, I don't know, I don't feel like they, they are helping you. This person could have even watched you struggle. Someone that loves you watched you struggle. Let me see what that's about. Yeah, see, here it is, the Ten of Swords. And I feel like whoever this person, yep, see, that's what I'm saying, wounded warrior. You've had to be a warrior your entire life, independent, the Nine of Pentacles by yourself, by yourself, and having to fight all these battles. So now I'm seeing a love battle. I'm seeing growing up battle with family, friends, a false person. So no wonder you have some major trust issues and some of you are just feeling like you cannot trust anyone. When you were down and out, I feel like this person was not there for you. I feel like I feel like this person, I feel like you had caught someone that, you know, said that you had a romantic connection. With. I feel like you caught them and I feel like they didn't um, return the call or they didn't help you. And it's like now they're wanting to reach out to you and I feel like you're just like over it. I don't know. There's something about, yeah, and mm, that's why I said you've had to be stronger than you needed to from an early age for some of you. Anything else, Spirit? We got here. Oh, the King of Pentacles is coming in. Who is this? Tell me, who is this King of Pentacles? Whoever this person is, I'm hearing wealthy, wealthy person, financially stable. You don't trust this person either. So there's another love interest coming in. We got two people here. Again, yep, many battles, many people that you were not able to depend on. But I don't know if this person is someone you weren't able to depend on. But you're, you're looking like you don't trust this person either. So what happened here with this person? With this king of pentacles? Because I'm seeing here the higher front. This could have been someone you were married to. Or someone you were in a long relationship with. From your past. Yeah, this is someone from your past. It looks like you could have been married to this person. Or some of you were in a relationship with this king of pentacles. But you didn't trust them either. 
it's like we're revisiting your relationships. It's like they're you're going down memory lane and revisiting your past relationships and how you're over all of them. You're over all these people that were not there for you. And when you were down and out, nobody was picking up the phone to help you. Yeah, and look at here. The Eight of Pentacles is where I stopped that. See, that's what I'm saying. You've been working hard. Some of you may work from home. But it looks like you've been working really hard to make a name for yourself or to make a life for yourself. Okay. Even friends could have let you down. Yeah, look at here. The double card is coming in. That's what I'm saying. Revisiting unhealthy relationships. And you're like, I'm over it. You're like, I'm over it. You're looking back at all the people, all the relationships, all the friends, the family, and realizing some sort of correlation um, between these unhealthy connections. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, let me clarify this double card. There's something, this is major, so I need to see what this double card is about. News. We got some sort of news. And we already saw a message. Remember we saw a message? And I said the double card. So some sort of news about this devil. Look at here. Ooh, this person is calling you. And remember I said, somebody, so you're going to, someone that you could have grown up with this could be like your sister this could be your cousin this could be your aunt but I feel like someone that you have that you both had feelings for is going to call you with some sort of news but I'm a little bit concerned because it it I did ask about the devil right look here struggle look th but there's two people something happened here it looks like making up with you. They may want to make up with you. This is someone you were close to. And they want to make up with you. But for some reason, I'm seeing here a grudge, holding a grudge, refusing to open up. You know what I'm getting here? I feel like they made it out of the cold. Because remember, yeah, I feel like they made it out of the cold. Because I feel like there were, the both of you could have been struggling, but somebody made it out of the cold. What happened though? Judgment. Some sort of judgment was made. Oh, look, and maybe they, I feel like maybe something happened, but you and this person fell out. So someone that you, they both cared about you and you cared about them, but something happened. Between the two of you. Some sort of choice was made. And I feel like it affected your relationship with this person. But again, that devil is coming through. So I need to see what happened. Let me get another tarot card before I go to the Kipper deck. Page of Pentacles. What did they do? It's like they, they could have... They could have moved on without you. Or again, when you were struggling, I feel like when you both was having hardship, you were there for each other. That's what I feel like. I feel like when there's hardship, you both looked out for each other. But it looks like, again, like I told you, some this person could have made it out of the cold. Started some sort of new project, some sort of new job. Maybe uh, they started their own business. Yeah, because it looks like they became busy and maybe they they stopped having time for you. And again, that's what I feel like we're going down memory lane. You got one, two, well, three, if you want to count the family, you know, one, two and three. And that goes three right there. So I feel like there's three specific people that you've been thinking about um, that has that have let you down. And for some reason, guys, I have to call it like I see it. I feel like it's causing it's causing some sort of devil over your shoulder. Because I'm not 
picking up anything specific with this devil for this actual person. I feel like it has to do with you and, and the unhealthy relationships that you've had. Uh, let me get a gift card. I want to see what Spirit is trying to um, tell you guys with this. So when I say let me get a gift card, I want there's like a lesson or a gift rather, something that you've had to learn in experiencing, you know, these um, types of situations that you've gone through. There's some sort of lesson. So I want to see what is all of a lesson because it's like we're going down memory lane. That person could have been like your best friend. So you could have like this best friend, like you have went through, maybe you grew up together, you went through hardships together, but I feel like um, they could have left you out in the cold. They could have moved on or, did, or, or just wasn't there for you. Something happened. Okay, so what is the lesson here? What's the gift? Strength. And remember we talked about strength. I'm testing your strength and character to urge you to stand up for yourself and speak your truth. And see right here, you're not saying anything. You're not even picking up the phone. So I feel like you, you're, that's that double. It's like you've been holding things in. And I feel like that's a pattern. So maybe you're not, you know, telling people what you need or you're not just telling people how to treat you. Not, you know, letting them know that's unacceptable. You can't do that. And that's why I feel like, remember, we talked about your strength too. Spirit saying, I'm, but they're testing your strength and character for you to stand up against these people. Because you may have been there when they were struggling, but then they weren't there for you. Spirit saying, the lesson is for you to speak up. That's the lesson of all of this. Let's get one more card. Any um, additional gift or lesson for cancers? Yeah, boundaries. Two more cards fell out. Boundaries and secrets. See, let's look at the secrets first. And remember I told you a family secret? Some of you may be experiencing. It says, I'm healing your past suffering by bringing the truth to light, which can no longer be hidden. That's what I'm saying. There is something that someone's family has been hiding from them. A secret. And here is the next card. Boundaries. I'm assisting you in developing healthier boundaries. So you may hold a sacred space for yourself. I feel like this definitely goes together. Setting boundaries. Not letting people walk over you or use you for that matter. You know, once things start going good in their life, then they just act like they don't know you. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like this double, because even right here, three cups. And we've already talked about, you know, specifically the family situation, the love connections, and then this friend. So some of you had a family issue that happened. And then you had relationship issues that happened. And then a situation with a friend. Someone that you were really close with. And there's a fourth one. So it could be another situation. Well, we do got two um, romantic offers. So that could probably be where the fourth cup is coming in at. I'm getting here some resentment. I really feel some resentment. And that's why I say this from a loving place. But I have to call it like I see it. That's why I said I feel like that devil was coming for you guys. I feel like there's like some some anger, some frustration, and some resentment and bitterness. Because see here... What you've been working on and maybe you're seeing other people make it. Because remember I said one of you made it and it looks like it's the friend. Or just could just be in general somebody making it. Um, or at least being in the position that you wish you were in. And you're like I've been waiting. I've been working. I've been sowing my seeds. And I'm still working. And not seeing the fruit of my labor. And that's what I'm saying. I feel like there's some sort of bitterness and resentment. Uh, building up for you guys and I felt like yeah like a black sheep of the family or you know that's what they may label it but I'm seeing you as more than just that I I really feel like especially with this hermit card this is making me feel 
like it just seems like you were meant to go through something alone because I feel like it's it's giving you wisdom and this is making me feel like a guide what is this yeah see suffering I feel like some of you have been suffering though despite having to go through it alone um, it's, it still doesn't mean that it was easy. It's been a very, very dark period for you guys. But this is, let me get another card with this hermit. I'm feeling something like, something about who you are and why you had to go through. I mean, we know boundaries and strength, but it's bigger than just that. That was on an individual level. This is making me feel like, I feel like this is pulling out your purpose. That's what I'm getting here. There is something, could, what you went through is, yeah, building your strength. But I feel like it's all connected to your purpose. Some of you may have had to like, I'm seeing her had to sleep on a cot. Because remember I'm seeing her out in the cold. Some of you may have even had to, uh... I don't know, like I'm feeling like sleeping in the shelter or something. We got here complete. I've come to heal your inner void. You try to escape and realize you are whole all by yourself. See, didn't I tell you guys that? Didn't I see? That's something like I feel like you had to experience some lonely periods by yourself. And Spirit is saying, I am coming to heal an inner void. So you felt some sort of void. But there was lessons to learn in the in those void, in those um, experiences. That's why I said I felt like we were going down memory lane. And Spirit is wanting to remind you that all of those experiences were significant to what your purpose is. And it says, yeah, to heal that inner void that you felt, that you tried to escape in these relationships. That's the thing. You try and you may not have even been conscious of this. That you were using these relationships to fill some sort of void. Staying in relationships or dealing with people longer than you need to because you didn't want to be by yourself. Like, and here's the Queen of Cups. She's, she's the listener. She's the best friend. She's always loving on people. You know, they come to her for advice. She's the one that's always there. And then these people were not there for you. Spirit is saying you need to realize you are whole by yourself. If these people come into your life and they're making your life better, great. If not, then if they're hurting your life and causing you suffering, you don't need these people. They're not your friends. Because you may have felt like you needed them. But I feel like someone wasn't even conscious of that. All right, conscious. And, when I'm, and I feel like that's where this is coming up because you've been doing some deep soul searching. Someone has been questioning, why am I here? That's what I feel. I feel like you're here because there's something bigger about who you are all by yourself and what you're going to um, do to guide others. The hermit is a wise person. The hermit comes comes down from that mountain changed. This is going to change you for the good. Okay? We got here the eight of wands. So, what is this about? You're taking off on a bike unexpectedly. This is like rushing. Some sort of news. And remember we saw a message coming in. You're going to get some sort of news and you're going to rush after it. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. There's some sort of news. There's a breakthrough. What is this news? We already know you have a message coming in. But tell me about this news. It feels like a breakthrough. The Seven of Wands is in reverse. And again, the Queen of Cups. 
some sort of news is going to require you to let your defense down, to let your guard down. Because it looks like you're rushing, but you're rushing. Mm, let me hold off before I say that. Let me um, get another card to clarify this. I'm just, I'm well, let me just say, I feel like you're rushing, like you're rushing to confront someone. But I'm seeing here with the seven wands in reverse, you're not going to need to um, have this type of energy. That's what it feels like. Like I'm about to go confront so-and-so. Let me see. Justice. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like maybe your day in court. But this could be literally or figuratively speaking. It just seems like you're going to get some sort of news that's going to bring justice. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like you don't have to be defensive or have this guard up with this type of unexpected uh, news that's coming your way. I don't know why, though. I don't know why you would feel that way. That's the question. Why would you have even felt that way? Well, because you've been feeling like you need to stand up for yourself for quite some time. And maybe you want to give this person uh, a piece of your mind. But I'm feeling like you don't have to do that because they're going to get their day as well. Tell me more. The Ace of Cups is coming. Okay, sorry about that. The Ace of Cups is coming in. Yeah, see, I feel like wanting to confront the people that lied on you. And see, okay, so this is why. Because I feel like there, you don't have to do that. Because whoever this per I feel like you feel like someone lied to you. And I do feel like that could have happened in, with, in some part of your life. But this situation that you're rushing to, whoever this person is, they're coming with love. That's why I said... you. You felt like if the energy felt like you were rushing to confront someone, but spirit saying no. In this particular situation, that's when you're getting this news. It's there. Somebody is going to give you what you deserve, and this is someone that loves you. I feel like you think that you know they they're lying, and maybe they did lie to you. I don't know. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, but this is actually someone. That is, um, you know, that loves you and looking to give you some form of love. Maybe looking to make up with you, reconcile with you and give you what's owed to you. Yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, they have not had peace and they want to make up with you. They want to make peace with you because they have not been able to rest. They want to do the right thing. Yeah, this is someone that's going to be asking for your forgiveness. And they want to do the right thing. So I don't know who this particular person. Yeah, this is someone from the past. Yep, that wants it. This makes me feel like it's this person here. Wanting to come and make up with you. They may even ask to uh, take you somewhere. But they want to make peace with you. Yeah, see, they're, they've been thinking about calling you. And yep, here it is. They're going to call you. And you're going to rush. Because you may feel like you want to give them a piece of your mind. But they're actually going to help you. This person. They're actually calling to help you. They want to see you. They want to make up with you. They want to show you love. And they may, again, ask you to come be with them. Come visit them. Come stay with them. I don't know. <laughs> but they're, they're going to want to hang out with you or do something with you. So, yeah. And, uh-oh, this is, like I said, this is someone that actually does love you. And they want to, um, you know, make things right. And we got here, journey coming through. Yeah, this you may have to travel to go see this person. So that's what, uh, they're, they're at some sort of distance. So maybe you may have to um, travel by train, by plane, or maybe this is like a long drive. I don't feel like you live in the same area. Yep, this is someone from your childhood. Or someone that you could have known when you were a child. Yeah, and see that family secret card is what flipped over. There's something that I feel like they've kept from you. That they want to uh, they want to now be upfront with you about. And we got here change, but this is change. This is coming in reverse. This part they may ask you to move closer to them. I don't know. There's something, but I don't feel like this is something that you want to do because the change is in reverse. 
and we got here yeah see this is a mature woman this is an older woman so this could be like an aunt a mother it could even be a cousin i don't know this is someone that like i say um you either grew up with this person or you were you guys were close at one time there was actually love here but i feel like they could have done you wrong or again they just wasn't there but it looks like they're going to ask you to do something that you may not want to do and i feel like it has to do with relocate because here you are with the clothes and then here is asking for some sort of change, but it's coming in reverse. Anything else before we close out your reading? We got here, yeah, see poverty. And look at here, that family um, secret, that family issue. Yeah, see community. I feel like people knew about this family of whatever the secret may be, whether it was about, you know, something in your childhood, because for everyone, the secret could be different. I just feel like, you know, a lot of people, yep, the community knew about this uh, issue. They knew about this family secret. The only person that probably didn't know about this was you. All right. Any final messages for cancers? The Knight of Pentacles is coming in. Long overdue. Yes, this so this is a professional that I feel like um this could be like a lawyer, this Queen of Swords, or a judge, but I feel like you're going to receive something monetary that has been taking a long time for you to receive. You're gonna be getting something monetary. It looks like a ruling has been made. We got here the Nine of Swords. Again, look with this phone call. What is this? Why are you guys stressed out about this? Someone is stressed out to call you. This person. That's what it is. Someone feels, that's what I'm saying. They feel guilty from holding this back for you because it's long overdue. That person felt guilty. And yeah, see, there was another person that felt this other person that's calling you rather. They felt guilty for holding this back from you. Again, like I said, they couldn't get any rest. And now they finally want to give you what's owed to you. All right, so there you have it. I'm going to take one more card. And yep, see, here it is. Yeah, so meeting up. Yeah, they, they want to hurry up and give this to you. But I feel like you felt like you needed to confront them. But I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like this person may be coming with, uh, you know, at least now they're coming with genuine intentions. All right. So, yeah, that is going to conclude our reading. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Take care. Bye.